You're finding calculus is really tough this year, but it's not that you're a moron. And it's not the class. Maybe it's the teacher. He's smart, sensitive. No, wait. He's smart and hard to understand. Dry, boring lectures every day and never takes any questions. He can integrate any continuous function like the super nerd he is, but he just can't integrate you. Oh, and the tests. They're on every aspect of math that can't be found in the textbook. So what do you do? You fire him. In college, you're paying for your education. You're paying for that instructor to help you learn. If they're not doing a good job at it, you need to find someone else who will. It's up to you to get the best education you can, and bad teachers, they just don't help. To prep for next semester, sit in on a few lectures from teachers you'd like to study under. Ask friends and classmates to recommend their favorite professors and tell you why they liked them. When you sign up for the class in the beginning of the semester, try signing up for the same class from different teachers and find the one that fits best. Look at the whole process as an audition, and if they don't work for you, cut them loose. I'm sorry, Ms. Chadwick. It's just not working out between us. You can't teach, and I'm not learning. But what if you're trapped? Stop burning effigies of your teacher in your dorm room. That's just going to set off the fire alarm anyway. Believe me, I know. Even in the middle of the year, something can be done. If your teacher really is subpar, not fair, or over the top, don't just sit there and take it. Go see the dean. Bring other students with you who feel the same way. It's like a little protest march to say, Mr. Hodgson sucks. If you have to drop the class, demand your money back and let them know why. Remember, this is a business deal. Now, don't go crazy on me. This is not an invitation to find all the easy A teachers you can. If the class is too easy and you're just coasting through, guess what? You're no better off sitting there learning nothing than you were with the bad teacher. You could be saving time and money just sitting at home, doing nothing. Once you do find a good teacher, suck up. I mean, get attached. I mean, do everything you can to get the most out of their class. Consider taking courses from them even if they're not in your major or not a subject matter that seems interesting. You see, good teachers can make almost any subject come to life, just like a bad teacher can ruin them. This can even work in high school. Talk to your parents and your counselor. If you can get transferred to a different class, do it. At least then maybe you can get a different, hopefully better teacher. So get serious about your education, because you should be. Unless, of course, you really think shopping or playing Xbox can turn into a real career. You'll be living in your parents' basement till you're 40. Wait, I'm living in my parents' basement.